Welcome back. Just one day after Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker survived an election recall, the market reacted. The Dow jumped 165 points at opening on Wednesday and was up well over 200 points later in the day. As you can see, nearly 300 points. But were the recall's results really the catalyst for this midweek rally on Wall Street? Let's ask. Tom Bellasis, the CEO of John Thomas Financial. Good to see you, sir. Great to see you again. Interesting because uh, Larry Kudlow over at CNBC, the day before the Walker recall election said, if he wins, the markets will go up. They, they certainly did. They skyrocketed. But no one said this had to do anything to do with the right. Walker recall election results, did it? Absolutely. There's no doubt that this sparked a rally in the market because it gave investors and also the party the confidence that come this November that Romney will beat Obama and also gave politicians all across the states the guts to fight these public unions. I mean, if you look at it like this now, you have the Obama and the Democrats out there that wanted this recall election, not a regular election, this recall, they went out there, they made a tremendous effort to go out there, get 900,000 signatures versus the 540. They spent a tremendous amount of money to only lose. And the voter turnout in Wisconsin was the biggest in U.S. history. And that actually ignited a rally in the market. But this is just one state, clearly not enough to impact Fortune 500 companies. Why would they react based on one state's results? They think a lot more is to come? They do, and on top of the fact that you know, you have a lot of pent up entrepreneur demand on the sidelines, sitting on the sidelines, waiting to see the outcome of this election. You have cash in corporations at the highest levels. They're not spending. Why? Because they're nervous. They don't know what's going to happen come November. But come November, when Romney does win the White House again, you're going to see a huge rally in the market that will go on probably over the next several years. You're obviously a Romney supporter at this Very point. big Romney supporter. I, I want to ask you quickly about what the president said on Friday, hammered by Republicans at the private sector is fine is it you're out there you're in it you work with all these folks is the private sector fine today? it's it's not everyone is very nervous no one's spending money i mean this economy could be moving along a lot faster than it is because people out there are uncertain about taxes health care costs so they're waiting back to see what happens this coming november in the elections once that is cleared up i think you're going to see a huge rally in the marketplace so, so this is betting on a Romney win. This isn't about individual state by state. We saw a big election out in San Jose, California, where they struck down uh, some union costs, some pensions. They don't think these local elections are going to spread, but they think this means Romney has a better chance. He does have a better chance. I think it's becoming more evident after this Wisconsin win that he has a higher chance of beating Obama come this November. Of course, the results in Wisconsin still showed the Badger State prefers President Obama at this point, I think by about a seven-point margin. Thomas Bellasis, the CEO of John Thomas Financial, always Thank good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Coming up, an iconic...